And just so you know, church, we have a part of this, every one of us. If this was a wedding ceremony, what happens? He says, I do. I will. She says, I do. I will. And if I'm performing a wedding and people have come to the wedding, I'm encouraging and admonishing the people in this. Listen, help them out in this new relationship. Help them out in this new business transition. Because <laughs> things are going to change and they're going to need help. Don't tear them down. Build them up. It's the same thing with parents. So you'll have, a, you'll have a part this morning. You'll have a part this morning to be able to commit yourself to this young couple. And most likely, I already, I already, already know most of this, praise the Lord. I'm glad that at least I'm acquainted with most of you. Most likely you've already been there to help them out in various different ways. Amen? Amen. You're helping right now. <laughs> uh, or maybe you're being helped. That's... I know what I'm like one of my grandchildren on my lap. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask if, if Eric and Jack and can come up, bring those, bring those precious, precious babies. And if you need, we'll, we'll, we can put you to, oh, look at this. Bright eyes. Listen, children are an incomparable blessing from God. They give more joy than we can imagine. And right now, they're going to take center stage right here. Bring those babies. Right, let's just bring you right out here, right up front and center. Right up front and center. Look at that. Look at this. Hey. He says, look, I'm up front. I get to see people from a different angle. <laughs> He's, he's in pretty good mood today. That's always day seven. So what we're going to do right now is, uh, well, they don't take vows. Mom and dad. We're going to anoint the baby. We're going to anoint the parents. We're going to pray over them this morning. And you know, even, are you ready for this? I didn't tell you this part. They have papers to sign. Just like when you got married. Amen. So that one day you can look back and be reminded, this is what we agreed to. And you might have to have a conversation and say, how are we doing? How did we do? My wife and I, we do this from time to time. And sometimes it's good. Sometimes we say, okay, we could have done better. Amen? So that's right. We're getting pictures taken and everything. I feel like I'm doing a wedding. <laughs> Jacqueline, God has given you a precious and wonderful gift in Oliver and Octavia. But along with this gift comes responsibilities in raising these two children, raising them properly in the sight of God. And you are standing here today to commit your lives in front of these witnesses to raise them both according to the will of God. So as I read these statements of, <clears throat> of commitment, Respond, I do, if they express your sincere desire to commit to carrying them out. <clears throat> do you recognize this, these children to be a gift from God and give heartfelt thanks for God's blessing? Oh. Do you commit yourselves to being an example to these children by following the Lord God in your daily life, seeking to know Him, to love Him, to obey Him with all your heart, mind, and strength? Do you commit yourself to be diligent to teach them the truth of God's holy word and instruct them in love and obeying God? Do you commit yourselves to loving, honoring, and respecting each other, carrying out the biblical roles of husband and wife and remain committed and united in your relationship so that these children will have the security of a true home and understand how to have proper relationships with others. You have answered affirmatively on all points. And now to the congregation, to this church, as the Christian brothers and sisters of Eric and Jacqueline, will you endeavor to carry out your God-given responsibilities to both encourage and help them to carry out these commitments that they have just made 
to raise Oliver and Octavia in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. If so, you can say, we will. We will. Let us pray. Father, today, Lord, we dedicate these children and the parents. Lord, in the presence, Lord, of these witnesses and in the sight of our loving Savior. And Lord, today we anoint them. We know, Lord, that the oil has no power within it, but it's the sign and the symbol of the Holy Spirit of God. So it's in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit that we anoint them. Lord, both their minds, their hearts, and their soul to be dedicated to you. That God, let the Spirit of God come to life within them. That, Lord, that they will come to know you and admonish you. Oh, hallelujah, God, that they will come to follow you and obey. Let me take a chance. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hi. Uh-oh. I've been spit on before. Father, what a precious gift that we have. Lord, thank you today for this young couple coming to share this gift. And Lord, because it's a gift that has been given to us and being shared, we thank you, Lord, and we sincerely accept the challenge to help this young couple in any way that we can. And Lord, I thank you for these people who have come today, Lord, to observe this and to be part of the service. That God, that they will also come alongside and, and Lord, be there and offer care, kind of, oh, hallelujah, and comfort. And Lord, in doing so, also be there to share in the joy. Mm. Lord, restore to us the joy of our salvation and, and, and Lord, in the gifts that we receive through Christ Jesus, who is King. And the church all said, Amen. Amen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Children are an incomparable blessing from God. They give more joy than you can imagine. But God gives us another great blessing. And I want to close with this thought. He gives us the privilege of being his children. 1 John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of of God. Amen. What a privilege to know that, that we are God's children and that he is our father and that we can go to him with our needs and he can provide in so many ways as you are showing today. The word becomes flesh and the word is becoming flesh even here today in this cloud of witnesses. So this morning may I ask are you a child of God? That maybe you need to come this morning and become God's child. Or maybe this morning you're thinking about this and you're thinking, no, I haven't thought about it in a while. But I am a child of God. I am to be a child of God. I need to act like a child of God. And watch this now. Just like these children, sometimes you have to defend your father at the gates. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Someone speaks ill about your God, you say, no, he's my God. And let me tell you what he's done for me. This morning we have shared in, in such an awesome uh, experience here and, it's, and it doesn't stop. We're going to fellowship here in just a few minutes and we're going to share food. Uh, they have to sign papers still yet. <laughs> Amen. But I just have to encourage you and I'm so appreciative of those who come out and, and those who are, are uh, regular attenders here and those who have come to visit. Come back and visit again. Come back as often as you can. Amen. But not just here. But there. Amen. Amen. Amen.